Welcome. This is the um, Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 2, question number 7. The question says, the mass of the moon is about 7.349 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms, and the mass of the sun is about 1.989 times 10 to the 30 kilograms, which would, you know, obviously the mass of the sun is greater. Um, the mass of the sun is approximately how many times as great as the mass of the moon. Now, there's a couple things that you need to deal with here. First is making sure you know what operation you're going to do. The second is to pay close attention to the scientific notation. This part of the scientific notation is much more important than this part because you're talking about major differences. The difference between the 30 and the 22 is a heck of a lot. That would be uh, one with eight zeros. So you're talking about um, 100 million times greater. That's the difference. Whereas the 7.3 and the 1.9 part would not be nearly as uh, big of a difference. So if you still had, if everything was 10 to the 22nd, the difference between this and this, not that big. It's just, you know, small order. This is significantly greater. So the answers that you pick, the scientific notation part is the part that you look at more so than the number. I mean, the number part's important, but the, uh, the scientific notation, like the exponent, much greater than the integer number in the front. Just spoiler alert. Now, the reality is I need to set up the question correctly. It says the mass of the sun, so the mass of the sun, we'll call this ms, is how many times greater than the mass of the moon. So mass of the moon times x. So we know the mass of the sun is 1.989 times 10 to the 30th. And we know that the mass of the moon is 7.349 times 10 to the 22nd times x. Now, the reality is in order to figure out what x is, I need to divide. Why am I going through all that explanation? The reason I'm going through all that explanation is because the question says times in it, and it's very easy to just pick times because it says times. You just multiply the two numbers together, get an answer, and hope for the best. That's not what they're asking you to do. They want to know how many times as great, uh, or how many times more, or whatever. The question is important. They're trying to trick you, more or less. So the reality is, I need to go in and just type these things in my handy dandy calculator. Let me uh, clear out. I was working the last problem, obviously. Well, not obviously if you weren't, if you didn't do it, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, I'm going to put the first part in parentheses, so 1.989 times 10 to the 30th. Close parentheses. I like to have it in there. Easy to find. And then I'm going to divide by 7.349 times 10 to the 22nd. So you have to pay attention to it. You make sure you get it all plugged in correctly. And I get this answer. Maybe I don't like it in that mode. I want to change it to scientific. So I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to quit back out. And I'm going to hit enter. And it'll convert it for me. It says it should be about 2.706 e to the 7th. What that means is this is the same thing, more or less, as 2.706 times 10 to the seventh. That's kind of the answer I'm looking for, which is, of course, right here. So if you need to change it into scientific notation, go into the mode section, click it over to scientific notation to give you your answer, make sure you set it up correctly, and pay close attention to um, the exponent. You should be fine. So good luck.